One of the things that is important when we are writing source code in C, and actually really any source code, is that it is properly documented and commented. Commenting is something that makes it either very easy or very difficult to understand what is going on inside of source code. In Java, you use Javadoc to comment your code. And in C, there is a similar tool called the Oxygen, which allows you to use basically the same types of operations and comment in a very, very similar fashion. And this also allows us then to export these comments so that we can view them offline. Now in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make the Oxygen be the default commenting tool for usage in your C programming when you're in Eclipse as well as show you how you would go about adequately documenting a program. So on the screen right now we see we've got a program that has, as you'll notice, no comments. That's bad. We want to have comments on the, the files in defining essentially who wrote the code, what the methods are doing, what data structures exist for, what parameters are, all those kind of things that you might need to know about a piece of code. We also have a header file here that's part of it and it's got a little bit of a comment but it's essentially a default comment that was created from scratch. So what I'd like to do is go in with Deoxygen and then show you how you would go about commenting these more completely. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that Deoxygen is set up as your tool for commenting. So if we go into our project configuration here we see the properties and we want this C++ general tab and what we can see is what is the documentation tool now by default the oxygen is set up if for some reason it wasn't you might have to click on this con enable project specific settings and then click it to deoxygen here I believe this should be pre-set up on your virtual machines, so it should be a non-issue. But that is essentially how you would get the oxygen to be used with Eclipse. So now that we have the oxygen, what should we have common-wise? Well, every good program should have a program header. So I'm going to start by putting that in place here. And actually what it did is it tried to put it in for the first function it found. So I'll with the first functions comment and you notice it's automatically detecting these data structures and parameters like so so now that I've done that I should be able to put a oh, and it's interesting it's automatically defaulting to putting everything up top so what I'd like to do as a demonstration though for the most part this is probably going to be auto generated for you as it is in the header file I want to show you what I would expect in the comments so this is going to be a demonstration program and then I would expect to see an author tag like so some form of a description So this program adds two numbers and prints the results out on the screen and might have a date in here. So this is September 1. Those kind of things. Now in the header file here you will see that some of this actually did get created automatically in the file system when I created it. I had actually deleted some of that out to demonstrate how to, to use things with the oxygen. So down here what we've got is a function that takes a data structure in. So this function adds the parameters present in a data structure, prints out the results and we would want these to be spell checked well so on and so forth this parameter this is a pointer to the operation structure which is to be added 
excuse me. So within our code, you see that since I have a pointer here, I'm checking to make sure it's not null before I'm dereferencing it, which I'm dereferencing it here in this line. You see I'm using the arrow operators because it is a pointer and I'm accessing parameters that are part of those items. Now one thing you'll know, and this is a problem with this piece of code that I've got written here, there is no function prototype for this method. It doesn't exist over here in the operations header. It doesn't exist in the implementation. So that's something I should fix. So I would really want to put that in my header file in here, like so. And really, since the header files have external visibility in them, as we'll see when we deal with libraries, I'd really want this comment to also be duplicated over in that header file like so. So I'm just in my case going to copy and paste it into place there. So I've got that put in there. Put something in here. This is the main method for the program. We'll prompt for two numbers and then add them. This is a count of the arguments passed into main. We do not use it. This is the array of arguments passed into main. We do not use them. And you'll see that this is also spell checking the comments as we go. So the return will be zero. So I've got these items here commented in. Now in terms of what's going on inside of my methods here, I should have a comment along here saying something to the effect of verifying that the parameter passed in is not known, so we avoid whoops, so we avoid in order to avoid null pointer dereferences like so. So I've got this add the parameters and print them out. Now this set of comments that I'm writing here is for pretty trivial code. So one of the things you want to make sure of when you're commenting is that your comments ideally don't say what is going on in the code, they say why something's going on in the code. So for example, why am I doing this? Pref do checking to make sure it says null. The reason I'm doing that, the why part is to avoid null pointer dereferences. So you want to make sure that you're explaining again the why, not the what. Now when we get up into structures and into the header file, for example, here, I demonstrated how to do that. Here's my enumeration. This enumeration defines the mathematical operations that are supported by this calculator, for example. And then down here, So I've got this set up. Now something else you can do within your tool here in Eclipse is you can format your source code. So I can select it, go up to source and format, and it will clean up the formatting. Now this was not too badly misformatted, but maybe I might have something, eh, that's a bad example, like that. really bad like that source code there. 
So what will happen, and it depends on how misformatted it is, it will go through and reformat it nicely for you, occasionally leaving some extra lines like this that we might want to delete. So that's demonstration of how deoxygen works, what you're expected as far as comments, the big thing being this file header should be in present in all your files, these function um, head comments should be present in all of your functions. If you have data structures like this, you should have comments associated with them. The other thing to point out is you notice that the header is protected against multiple inclusion by the if def structure that we've got within the file here.